Welcome to the eighth video lessons of system of linear equations. In this uh, lesson, we will discuss uh, about the solution of a linear system. Three type of uh, there are three type of possibilities for a, a linear system. Uh, we will discuss uh, these things uh, by using row echelon form of a matrix. How we can decide whether the system has a unique solution, infinitely many solution, or no solution situation. So, if there for any system of linear equation of n variable, there are precisely three possibilities. The first one is the system has no solution. We call it an inconsistent system. And the system has exactly one solution. Uh, and the system has an infinite number of solution in the second and third case if the solution exists whether it is unique solution or infinitely many solution we call it a consistent system system is a consistent system but if the system does not have a solution we call it a in an inconsistent system the first case how we can identify an inconsistent system so that we know uh, solution state when the augmented matrix corresponding to a linear system uh, is converted into its row echelon form, then if we have a certain row, at least one row, with the condition all the entries uh, in the left hand partitions are zero and uh, there is a non zero uh, entry to the uh, left hand of left hand partition. Uh, so that means when you, if we have, will have a row, in the row echelon form, the left hand partition, all entries are zero. Here, right hand side, we have none, some non zero entry. For example, we can see that zero, 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 and minus three, something like that. If you contain at least this kind of row, then we can claim the system has does not have any solution. So for any system of linear equation which does not have which does not have a solution, we can identify through this test. So in um, an inconsistent system, when you convert uh, your augmented matrix A B into its row echelon form through row operations, then you will have at least one row, the left hand side entirely zero and the right hand side you have some non-zero value if you contain this kind of row at least one row then you can immediately claim that the system does not have a solution so we will see the example suppose this linear system x plus y plus z is equal to 4 3x minus y minus z is equal to 2 x plus 3y plus 3z is equal to 8 now we can uh, get the augmented matrix left hand side coefficient matrix 1 1 1 3 minus 1 minus 1 1 3 3 and the right hand side uh, constant vector 4 2 8 now we have to convert this augmented matrix into its row echelon form so this entry should be 1 since it is already 1 below 1 these entries should be 0 so you can multiply uh, to make this one into 0, you can multiply by minus 3 and add into the third row, the second row. And then to make this one into 0, you can multiply by minus 1 and add into the uh, third row. So we can write it formally. You multiply the third row, the first row by minus 3 and add into the second row. So this will be new second row. Multiply by minus 1. Uh, first row and add into the third row to get the new third row then you will have this one now through these operations so, so we have completed this as row echelon form it's row echelon form now we have to move to the next part this one then we have to make sure this is equal to one for that purpose we can divide by minus one over four so that means we multiply the second row by this one and also we can make this is also equal to 1 by multiplying half 
R3. So we can write it formally. So, uh, okay, uh, we, we will do one more thing little differently. You will see that if you divide by minus 4, then you will get uh, 10 over 4 here. It's a fraction. But without, you can avoid this fraction first to interchange uh, uh, third row and second row because when you divide by 2, all they are even numbers, you will not have any fractions. So therefore, we will, uh, in this case, we will interchange third row and second row and then divide by 2 the second row. Then you will have 1, 1 uh, uh, dividing by 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 4. Now you have here, now so you have very in, only integers. Now, um, so having 1 in this partition, so you have to make sure this one is equal to so, you multiply uh, plus 4 r2 and add into r3 so then you will get next matrix so here now you can see when you multiply by minus 4 plus 4 minus 4 is 0 uh, plus 4 minus 4 again 0 8 minus 10 is minus 10. Now you can see it is this is in row chain form. So in the row chain form the left hand we have third row the left hand partition is entirely zero and the right hand side is is uh, a non-zero value. So that means the system does not have a solution. If you write down the uh, equivalent system so you have x plus y plus z is equal to 4 y plus z is equal to 2. For the third equation, you have left hand side 0 because all in uh, coefficients are 0 is equal to minus 2. Now you can notice this is not possible. 0 cannot be equal to minus 2. So since we have a wrong result, so that means we come up with the contradiction when we converted converted the augmented matrix it is, it is into its original form. So that means if you assume that there exists a solution and then you apply the row operations to get the uh, row original form. But uh, it end up with the wrong results. So making a contradiction. So that means your assumption is wrong. What also your assumption that there is a solution. So that means Assumption wrong means there is no solution. Okay. So, the third row of the last matrix, left hand partition is 0 and the right hand side partition is non zero. It corresponding to the equation 0 is equal to minus 2. So, therefore, system does not have any solution. The system is inconsistent. So, that's how uh, we identify whenever system does not have a solution uh, through the elementary row operations. So what we have done, we converted augmented matrix into its row echelon form. When the row echelon form contains at least one row, in such a way, the left hand partition is zero and right hand partition is non-zero. So immediately you can claim that the system does not have a solution inconsistent system. Okay, so in the next lesson, we will discuss how to identify infinite limited solution and unique solution. Thank you so much for joining with us.